Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for I think a week and a half, which is absolutely terrible. It was my birthday. My birthday was November 1st. I want to thank all of you guys for saying happy birthday to me. I got flooded on Instagram and my Snapchat, my email, like I'm still writing back. For some reason, I like, look at me rambling already, <laughs> for some reason, all of my Snapchats kind of disappeared and I cannot answer you guys. I don't know, maybe I just got too many messages, I don't know, but I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had an amazing birthday, um, just spent it with friends and family and just like I had a really good time and of course, oh you saw that, you saw the butt, okay. <laughs> And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I am a shopper. Like, I can shop, girl. I go a little ham, you know, I do I do go a little overboard, but it was my birthday, so I can use it as my excuse. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of makeup and goodies. Some of the things I'm going to show you, I bought myself some RPR packages. I will let you guys know what is what. And I wanted to get this video out even though I look like a hot mess. I feel like I have so much to tell you guys because I've been gone for so long. Okay, Rose, get it together. I feel like I look like such a hot mess, but it's okay because I do have lash extensions. I do want to address that. And I'm filming on a new camera. I am filming on my new baby, Canon 70D. I am going to be doing a video on, like, camera equipment and, like, my thoughts and stuff like that because I have so much to tell you guys about everything. I feel very overwhelmed because I haven't talked to you guys and, like, my last videos were all get ready with me's and I haven't really, like, sat down to talk. So this video is going to be very long. It's probably going to have a part two, which is going to be the clothing part. Um, and I might even have to split this stuff up because it's insane. I don't want this to be absolutely incredibly long. If you don't like long videos... I'm sorry, but a lot of you guys do like long videos, so that's that's just that. We're going to keep it long. We're going to keep it ratchet. I'm a human being. This is normal. This is what I look like. I have a post on my lash extensions on Instagram if you want to check that out. I don't have any other makeup on except a little bit of lip gloss. I will have another video on my lash extensions. Um, that's coming up. I'm going on a trip on Monday, so when I get back, I have a whole schedule planned out with my videos. I have so many videos. I don't think I'll be filming a favorites video this month, I know, but when I get back, I think I'll just have like a current beauty favorites kind of video and the fall tag. I am so like overwhelmed with these like bags in my room that I'm like, okay, they need a video. I need to get this stuff off my floor. We need to start using these babies so I can get you guys my opinion. The VIB Rouge Shell is right now. I believe it ends Sunday or Monday. I'm not too sure. I'll have that info down below. But if you're a VIB Rouge at Sephora, which is basically like a status based off how many points, based off how much money you spend there, 20% off is right now. If you're just a VIB, sale starts Friday next Friday so again I'll have like all that text down below um, in case you're wondering what I got for the VIB Rochelle I'm about to show you first up I'm gonna start off with Sephora I made several trips to Sephora some of the stuff I didn't get on sale like I got this maybe two weeks before it started I should have waited but whatever let's just get started I'm just gonna pull things out and yeah the first item is the Sephora Z palette well Z palette for Sephora collection and it is a leopard print. It has like a rose gold, goldish kind of tint and it's beige and it has like a little hint of peach. It's super cute. Basically a Z palette, you can depot shadows or buy them with like the magnetic kind of pan form. And you can place them in here. Like the Anastasia shadows I put in here, like Makeup Geek, MAC. You can depot your shadows if you want to. You can look up how to depot your palettes and your shadows. But this is just going to save you a lot of space. I like getting single shadows now rather than palettes because I feel like I get a palette and I only use maybe like three shades out of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love buying palettes, but it's good to just have an empty Z palette because you never know when you're going to place a Makeup Geek order. <laughs> so I have a new house for my baby, so I picked that up and I just thought this was so cute. And I think that was $20. And then I kind of just already tossed the package to this, but I did pick up the Kogendo, Kogendo Aqua Foundation. I actually talked about it in another video. This is in shade 123. It has no fragrance, no colors, no alcohol, no parabens, no mineral oil. So, really good foundation. I've used it already. Obviously, Nikki Tutorials uses it, so I had to have it. And so does Kylie Jenner. So, I do like it. I will say that the shade in the bottle isn't really true to the shade that you're going to get because. This comes off a little bit darker, so like it matches me, but in the bottle, like in person, it does look a little bit light. So again, I have the shade 123. My only complaint is that Sephora, like, or maybe just the brand doesn't carry too many shades, which is very annoying and very tricky when trying to order online because they do not have this in store. 
um, at Sephora. It does have a pump, so again, this isn't a... I feel like I'm already reviewing the foundation and I'm <laughs> supposed to just show you guys. But yeah, I did pick this up and I'll let you guys know more about that in my favorites video. Because I have been using it, I do really like it. Next up, I picked up this Stila Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set. So these are the shades right here. It has Caramelo, which is the shade that I wanted to try. This is why I picked this up. It's like a nude color. Then you have Patina, which is a dusty rose. You have Aria. I actually already own these two, but I do love them. Love the formula on these. You have this purple, which is more like a violet. It's called Como. Then you have this dark color, which is Chianti. It's like a deep plum. And then you have Fiery, which is a deep red. I thought this was a great value. It's a great stocking stuffer. I got it online. I couldn't find it in store. I don't remember the exact price on this, but I don't remember it being too expensive. And I think it's a really good deal because you do get six totally different shades from light to really dark. So I thought that was really cute. So I picked it up online. I finally picked up the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation 24 Hour Wear. I got the shade Medium 52. It was kind of hard for me to pick a shade in store. I feel like Sephora's lighting can be tricky sometimes, especially when it's really crowded and you're like trying to like fight for a mirror. Um, so I picked up this shade. I'm not really sure if this is my color because I haven't worn it yet. Uh, like for a full day, so I don't know if it's going to oxidize. I remember using this a long time ago and feeling okay about it. Now that I'm more into makeup and wearing like full coverage and experimenting with foundations, I'm a foundation hoarder, so had to have this in my collection. I know a lot of you guys either love this or hate this, like absolutely hate it. So hopefully I'll love it. We'll see how it works. I'm like really, really excited to try it. Then I picked up a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I love a dewy finish and now that the winter's coming I figured I would pick one up because I ran out of mine and my skin gets extremely dry like my nose right now feels like sandpaper I know that's not cute but I don't know what happened I woke up and my nose was just really really dry um, it might just be the change in weather so I picked up a dewy skin mist this is extremely expensive but it is life it is heaven in a bottle if you like dewy skin now I wouldn't recommend this to someone who's extremely oily because it does leave you very dewy now if you are semi oily or just like oily in the t-zone what you can do is you can do your highlight finish up all your makeup do a setting spray and just spray this like on your cheeks and you'll have just a dewiness like right here so you can make it work i just really love this i love the brand it doesn't break me out it doesn't irritate me so i picked another one up because mama needed one i get so many questions on what foundation is my favorite What's the best for like occasions? What's the best for photography? Like so many questions on foundation and I know like what works for me But of course, you know, I'm freelancing so I do want to experiment with more foundations Like even if they're matte foundations, I want to try them even though I personally don't really care for that I want to experiment with them so I can give you guys answers because this is my job I take you guys very serious. I take your questions very serious So I get so many questions like what do you think about the Marc Jacobs foundation? I'm like, I don't have that so Boom, I went out and bought it. I picked this up in the shade 33 Beige. Stephanie at Queen Center Mall was really sweet and helpful. Because we're similar skin tones, she recommended this shade for me. And this is the one she uses, so I figured I would get it. Packaging is super cute. It was pretty expensive. I think it was in the $40, $50 range. Um, but if you're into high-end foundations, I wanted to try this so I can let you guys know how I feel about it. I tried it once in a sample size, and I wasn't crazy about it. I know it's full coverage. So I'm going to see how I feel. So I picked that up. Oh my god, I com I totally forgot. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I completely forgot I picked this up. Is that bad? Like, this is so bad. Oh my god. This is bad because when I do hauls, I like haul all this stuff. And then I'm like showing you guys. I don't even remember picking this up. Well, I picked up the Giorgio Armani Sheer Bronzer. I guess that day I was feeling... Oh, I know why. I had gift cards. So my friend Natalie and my mom gave me Sephora gift cards. And I had, I think, three... Since I did have those gift cards, I decided to pick up two high-end products that day um, that maybe normally I wouldn't. Why am I lying? <laughs> so I picked up the Armani uh, bronzer in the shade 100. This is the Sun Fabric Bronzer. I think this is one of their lighter shades, but it does have like a texture to it. Okay, Canon 70D in effect right now. This is the bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. <sighs> It's like swatching a high-end like product like doesn't it just kill you? <laughs> I don't know because right now this bronzer isn't really like Picking up for some reason this bronzer is just looking straight up muddy. I Don't know, but 
let's hope it works. If not, I'm going to have to change it for a different shade because when I swatched it in store, maybe because it was already used and like that little like texture wasn't there, it looked way different. So I'm hoping that works because I remember that being pricey. Let's see. I thought this was the receipt. Nope, it's the survey. Well, I remember it being pricey because it's Armani and I know it's pricey. So we'll see how that works. Okay, you thought that was it for Sephora? It's not. So this is what I actually got with the VIB sale. The other stuff I just bought full price, which is kind of dumb because it's like high-end stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. So yesterday I went, I picked up the Marc Jacobs Decadence Perfume. And as you can see, this is the perfume bottle. I kind of want to open it because I haven't opened it yet. Like, I was coming home last night and I wanted to open this so bad in the taxi. I was like, no, I got to wait. I got to hold it for the haul. This is the perfume bottle. Like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I just, I had to have it. I had to have it. It's a little purse. This is the smallest size that it comes in, the one ounce. It smells so good. It smells fresh, but kind of manly, like a cologne scent. Oh my god, it just, I love it. I posted on Instagram about it, and some people didn't like the scent, but I absolutely love it. Like, it's so sexy. It smells how it looks. Like, expensive and luxurious and extra. And this does last on me, because I sprayed it yesterday, and it was just lasting a while. So, picked up that little perfume, because I just had to. I didn't get the big size, because I don't know if I'm really going to love it, but I figured I would just pick it up. Next up, I got the, cannot pronounce that. Kale Lion, Cow Lion, Kale Lion, Blackhead Steam Pour Pack, Where Is Pour, Pour Original Pack, what, like, what is the name of this, like, why, it's the Hot and Cool Pour Pack Duo, so it has a Hot Pour Cleansing Blackhead Steam Pour Pack, and then it has Step 2, which is the Cool Pour Tightening Original Pack. Um, I posted on Instagram about it because my friend Alexis, she was talking like amazing things about this on her YouTube. I'll leave her YouTube down below. And when I posted this on Instagram, you guys were like, oh my God, love that. You need that mask. I'm like, why are you guys holding out? Why are you guys never told me about this? So I'm excited because again, my nose is just not cute right now. It's like acting up and I do have some blackheads. So I also got another mask. My skin has been acting up. It's been acting a little shady. So I did pick up the Sephora mask, the Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying Zinc and Copper Mask. So this wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $19, which is really good. This really just takes out impurities. Well, so it says and so you guys said. I was so tempted last night to just use the mask because that's how bad I need it. But I was like, no, I gotta wait, girl. I also picked up this Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. This is like the first perfume or scent brand to come out with a dry shampoo. So this says it's a violet sandalwood vanilla scent. I do love the Elizabeth and James perfumes. I have the white one. So I kind of want to just smell it right now. Mmm, this smells so good. This smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like woman. <laughs> like classy, sexy, confident, like working woman. Oh my god, this smells really good. I'm so excited. Um, a lot of people were also saying that it leaves residue, but I saw on Nicole Guerrero's channel, she loves that and it doesn't leave a white residue. I think you have to really shake it up well and spray it from far and then brush it. I think that way you won't get any residue. Next up, I picked another mask. Wow, I went all out on skincare, huh? I got this uh, Pout Mud Glam Glow Fizzy Lip Exfoliating Treatment. This has two treatments. One's the wet lip and one's the fizzy lip. So this is supposed to hydrate, soften, and restore. And look at the packaging. Like, how cute is this? Like, I don't even want to take it out of this. I think it's just perfect the way it is. But it's like these two little, like, balls. <laughs> Why am I always saying that on YouTube? I feel like I've said that so many times. So this one's like the exfoliator. It smells very heavily of like mint. So I'm excited to use this because a girl's lips are going to get chapped this winter. I already know it because they're already chappy. So I figured I would invest in a lip mask. Next up is another hair item. And this is the Alterna Caviar Rapid Repair Spray. Clearly I was watching Nicole Guerrero's channel. But I actually had this on my wish list like months ago like in the summertime when I had the blondish whatever hair that was because I was looking up so many reviews on Sephora for like a good shine spray and this one always came up so this is like a shine and moisture spray and it doesn't have parabens and sulfate so it's good for like dyed hair 
my hair has been like out of control when I wash it it's super frizzy when I straighten it it's super limp and straight and oily so I gotta figure something out I'm like a hair product junkie like I don't like doing my hair but I like products for my hair it makes no sense okay another foundation yes don't judge me <laughs> I picked up the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation, Luminous Fluid Foundation, and I got the shade Honey because I'm going to get a little tan in DR, so I figured I would pick this up in a little bit of a darker shade. I didn't feel like the shade selection was good, like I could not match myself for the life of me, and I just love the packaging. It is just so extra. It is so me. So I absolutely love that. It has like the Burberry logo. It does have a pump, um, but it is pretty sheer, so we'll see how I feel about that. I feel like I should just try one foundation out for like a whole week and then I try another one just because I don't want to like overboard my skin so I'll probably just do that so I don't like break out like crazy when I get back and then I just picked up a little cologne sample Dior Savage this is actually was a hundred point perk and yeah I did I did post my wish list on Instagram so you can actually go like look at it if that helps you like more like a visual list but I just suggest getting stuff that you've always wanted because I just feel like if it's expensive and it's worth the splurge, it's better to get it 20% off. So that's why I kind of got like high-end products and skincare because skincare is something like people don't really like spending on. So I would go ahead and like invest in masks and invest in a good cream. Although I do love drugstore foundation, like the L'Oreal is like my one of my favorites. I do feel like if you're gonna splurge on a foundation, it's best to splurge right now because you do get the 20% off. And Sephora like barely has 20% off unless your friend worked there. And you got the hookup. So next up, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Benefit. They actually sent me these goodies. First up is the Rollerball Lash Mascara, which I love. I used to use that a lot back in the day. And then they sent me the What's Up Soft Focus Highlighter, which I actually already have. So I'm going to be including this in my giveaway, which is coming soon, I promise. I'm just trying to gather everything up. And then they sent me a couple of their little like boxes. This one is the Hula Bronzer, which I also really love for contouring and bronzing. So I'm really excited to have that back in my life too. This blush, which is called Coralista, I actually already have as well. So also a giveaway item. So happy to be having doubles so that I can give you guys these things. And then this one too, the Rocketeur by Benefit. I have this one too and I love this one. Coralista and Rocketeur are my favorite blushes from them. So... Really, really excited to be gifting that to you guys too. And then they sent me the Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the line of puffies. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a little iron for a tip. That is such a cute little detail. It's like a little plancha for under your eye. You're basically like ironing away your wrinkles, which I think is really cute. And your like creases. So my eyes have been pretty good. Like they haven't been too puffy, but it's always good to have that for those early mornings. And then this is such a cute little bag laughter is the best cosmetic and it has a cute little tassel so they sent me that and they also included this which is really cute it's a shower cap from benefit then i got these two highlights sent to me from ofra in collaboration with dupe that these are both highlighters this one is you glow girl and then this one is you do you i love those names like you glow girl and you do you boo boo. <laughs> I love these. I've seen swatches on Instagram and people wearing them on Instagram and I am so pumped to start using this. This one's like a pinky one, the you glow girl, and then you do you is like a peachy. So they're not like your typical like white or gold. They're a little different because they're like almost colored and I think the pinky ones look so good on like fair skin and the peachy on more tan and dark skin. But you can also, you know, do whatever you want and then they also sent me two more Kathleen Lights Miami Fever so they're also going to be going in the giveaway because I already have me one and a backup for myself because that color is bomb I actually wore that in my last haul I picked up the Amrezy Lip Land Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Resi I always say Amrezy but it's Amrezy so this is the shade Resi and it's like the neutral color I'll wear it, so I'm not even going to take it out of here. I'll wear it on Instagram or in a video so you guys can see it. Um, but I just love the little packages. I wish I would have picked up Montenegro because my girl, Leslie Alvarado, if you don't watch her, you need to be watching her like yesterday. I'll leave her link also down below. I want to kind of start featuring like other YouTubers, like just in my caption. Like I'll just leave links of like who I've been watching and who I've been loving. Anyway, I'm off topic. She did a video swatching all three colors. So like Montenegro, Resi, oh, and Brooklyn. Brooklyn is like a bright, 
the electric reddish corally orange color. Resi is the neutrally peachy color, and then Montenegro is like the deep purple, so, or like deep purplish burgundy color. So of course I went for the nude, and I picked that up at liplandcosmetics.com, and I don't think it was that expensive. It was definitely under $20, and I think I got free shipping. These next goodies were a birthday gift from Too Faced, which I love. I will be featuring the Christmas and Paris sets that Too Faced also gifted me in holiday tutorials, but they sent me this aside from that, which was really, really nice, so thank you Too Faced, you guys are bomb.com. Um, they sent me the Better Than False Lashes Extreme Mascara, so this is like the Better Than Sex Mascara, but this is the Better Than False Lashes Extreme, so it actually has like a primer and then a nylon fiber mascara so if you're into those like fiber mascaras Too Faced does make one and then they sent me a whole bunch of their melted liquid lipsticks and I actually got doubles of sugar so one of those is for you guys and then so I got sugar which is like a nude I got melted peony which is a pinky color which I want to start wearing more pinks and then melted velvet which is so gorgeous like just the packaging you could just you could just tell it's gonna be a gorgeous color and the name like melted velvet that just sounds so luxurious then they sent me these two la creme color drenched lip creams you guys know nude beach is my homie for life but they did send me country star and then naughty nude which of course aren't more nudes so i got those and then a lip injection extreme so this is a lip plumping gloss and this stuff really plumps and like almost like tingles burns but I actually like that feeling so I tried it as soon as I got it. I got a whole bunch of goodies from Soap and Glory for my birthday and just because they're amazing. I got this loofah. I'm like showing you guys like random stuff. Um, they sent me Heel Genius. You guys know I used to be obsessed with Heel Genius and I still am. I just didn't get around to going and buying one. So I'm so happy that I have one again because my feet need it. I got a little mini hand food. They sent me a large righteous butter, which I love. Then I have the large hand food. They sent me a mini righteous butter. I have so many goodies, like I'm set for life. They sent me Clean On Me, which is my current favorite body wash. Look at me, I'm like hoarding all this stuff. <laughs> And then they sent me the Scrub Your Nose In It 2 Minute T-Zone Detox Scrub. Then they sent me this other mini hand food. This Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream, which is like this guy, which is my fave, Righteous Butter, but in a different scent. This is like my all-time favorite, so I'm so happy I have a new one because I just ran out, so perfect in time I also got the facial wash but it's in my bathroom because I've been using it since I got it because girl that stuff is bomb um, I forgot what it's called it's like the blue face wash from Soap and Glory Manny I mean we talked about it and he was so right it is amazing so I got all of that sent to me from Soap and Glory so thank you so 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 much you guys are amazing you guys set me for good like I do not have to buy a lotion for a while, but knowing me, I probably will. Then I also got sent this number seven pampering dry oil body spray, which I'm really excited to bring with me on the trip, just to get me, you know, nice and oily and feeling JLo-esque. And then next I got sent some items from Makeup Forever, and I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to brag to you guys. I'm just showing you guys what I got sent. I'm just really excited to be recognized by such big brands. I don't want to get cheesy and cry. But it just feels really good to know that your hard work is paying off. And yeah, it's just makeup. But it's makeup that's like sent to you. Like these brands know who I am. It's just an amazing feeling. Um, I've been working really hard for four years. So to be sent to stuff is just like, thank you. Anyway, let me let me stop being cheesy. Um, so Makeup Forever sent me the foundation sticks. The Ultra HD foundation sticks in these shades. 123, which is my foundation shade. That's what I use in the HD foundation, which I absolutely love. So this is just the stick version of it. And I've heard really good things. You guys keep telling me to get this. So I'm so excited. I love that it has a clear top because if you store it like in a drawer, you can see which one you're picking up. And these are great for freelancing and contouring. You can do like anything. And then they also sent me shade 177. And this is just darker than my skin tone so that I can contour with it. So, I really, really, really can't wait to try this. I'm super excited, super, super excited for these because I know they're amazing. Like, anything Makeup Forever, done. Then they sent me this palette, which is the 15 Artist Shadow Palette. 
I absolutely love my artist shadow palette from Makeup Forever. I use it like on every bride, the little mini one with the neutrals. So when they sent me this one, I was like, yes, girl, it has color. So we can get on with these color tutorials that my subscribers have been dying for. But look at the packaging. It's so like Halloween. I love it. I don't know if it's just the color orange and like the lips and stuff that it reminds me of a clockwork orange, the movie. I don't know, just like the whole feel of this palette is giving me very like Halloween horror show clockwork orange vibes. But this is what the palette looks like. It has amazing, amazing colors. Like, let's see. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I can't even reach it. <laughs> Struggle. Yes! Oh my god, like, look at those colors. I'm so excited to use these. I cannot wait to do a pop of color. Like, this is so pigmented that I can't even take it off right now. So I'm super excited to try that palette out and show you guys. And then they also sent me this brush, which is the 122 Straight and Wavy. So I actually already have this brush, so you guys are going to be getting it. And my friend Stephanie was saying how she loves this to, like, blend out her contour or, like, just anything without, like, disturbing her foundation so that made me really happy that I have two because I know you guys are going to get one and I can't wait to use mine so that's what I got from Makeup Forever next up I got these items from Becca which is also another brand that I stand for 110% you guys know I'm all about that Becca so when they sent me this I was like ooh child <laughs> they sent me this mineral blush in wild honey which is crazy because Alexis also just mentioned this in her favorites video that she loves this blush and it's just like the perfect everyday blush so I'm super excited to now own it it's like a nice peachy everyday honey color so I'm really excited to use this because I like that like warm neutral peachy apricot shade on the cheeks I'm not really into the pinks right now and then they sent me the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream in the color cashmere I remember using this before and I don't remember what color I used to use. I used to love this foundation when I had it. I don't know what happened to mine, but now I have another one, so I'm super excited. And then this, this is what I'm most excited about. Girl, I am just so pumped. I got the Backlight Priming Filter. You don't know how excited I get when I get products. Like, I'm just like, ah, I can't wait. Just put it all on my face. Like, I just want to put everything on, like, two nights. This is supposed to be, like, a dewy, luminous, like glowing dewy I said dewy primer Jaclyn Hill just talked about it I just feel like I got so many good products sent to me that everyone's loving okay so Charlene is here hi <laughs> this is the poopery original citrus before you go toilet spray Manny MUA also talked about this it's basically a spray I use it in California I forgot who had it um, I think my friend Mel but basically you spray this before you have to use the bathroom and then it like seals the water so when you do the do, no one smells it. Like it seriously works. Like no one will smell anything. It's just really embarrassing to like, I don't know, have someone smell your business. Like that's just not cute. <laughs> so if you're going to go on vacation or you just go to people's houses and you feel comfortable enough to do that, I picked this up at CVS um, in the little like to-go section so I think you should get this. I think everyone should have this in their bag. It's up to 70 uses and it was really inexpensive so you just spray it before you go which is really cool. Everyone needs that when they're going away. Just saying. <laughs> Next I also got this at CVS and this is just a fitted weekender. So it's this little bag here perfect for traveling. In the front you get these little bottles like travel to go bottles that you can fill up with your shampoo or your body wash just so you don't have to bring the whole thing and then you get a loofah a container for your soap and then a toothbrush holder so I think that's super convenient and smart and then the back pocket is just empty so you can put anything in there I'm probably gonna put not makeup but other like lotions and things like that just to keep it very organized I'm very OCD in general especially when I travel I am very very prepared so got this and it was like 20 bucks at CVS the next few items are birthday gifts. I got the Prada Candy Perfume. You guys always recommend this to me, so when I got it, I was super pumped because I know this is like a lot of your guys' favorite. The bottle is super pretty. It smells sweet, but like classy at the same time, like a department store. It smells really, really good. And then I also got these two MAC lipsticks for my birthday. The first one is called Cherish, which is a nude, and then Hue, which is another nude. 
these are also staples in everyone's like favorite nudes so I'm excited to try these out also for weddings it's good to have a lot of nudes and different shades of nude like brownie nudes pinky nudes peachy nudes because you just never know then I also got this as a gift this is a Victoria's Secret fragrance bath bombs perfect for my trip I'm definitely gonna bring two of these for the trip because I'm excited like I haven't had a bath bomb in so long and my room's gonna have a jacuzzi so you already know I'm gonna throw one of these in there so <laughs> I'm super excited to have this and it's the scent tease from Victoria's Secret which I love so I always wear the shirt dress pajama with this print so now I have the shirt and pants which is really good for winter time so my legs are not all out and it also comes with this really cute sleeping mask which is perfect. I'm also going to bring that with me. I also got this shirt dress pajama, which is really good. I just love to have these. They're really, really comfortable. And this one just has a big heart. Next up, we have more Victoria's Secret because lately I've just been on a Victoria's Secret kick. I think Laura Lee got me into it. She does some crazy Victoria's Secret hauls, so she kind of inspired me. First up, I picked up this kind of travel bag. It's like kind of like the other one, the black one. But this one's super cute because it has this which you can hang up in your hotel or in your closet and then you can see all of your makeup so since it's clear you can see like all your foundations and then all your eye stuff so I think this was really really clutch this was $36 but I love this print you guys know I love leopard and gold so I think this is perfect for makeup and then I'll put all my toiletries in the other bag I'm telling you I'm very very organized when it comes to everything so so I picked up another t-shirt dress this one says I look best undressed I thought it was cute and it's purple and I don't really have anything that's purple and I always just wear the same pajama until it like gets super raggedy so I'm like I need more and then this one just says angel same kind of t-shirt dress I just really like these and I have these in a the size medium and I just like them because your like legs are just free and I like to sleep like with my legs free does that make sense I don't like to wear pants to sleep just saying and then I got these which are so cute these little fuzzy slippers and these feel like cocoa like they're so soft I just love how fuzzy they are and these say sweet dreams these were $29.50 but they're so so soft and I always walk around like barefoot but sometimes I have to go down to pick up my package or to I don't know just to have you never know when you need a pair of slippers but those are house slippers they're not really to go outside then I got another of this leopard print and this is a phone case I always have this clear phone case I just like showing off the phone especially because this is the rose gold one and when I had my gold phone I also had it but it's nice to just switch it up sometimes and have something a little more girly I guess so I picked up this one in the same print as the leopard little carry-on so I don't know it's just random a little phone case and that was 20 bucks I figured why not just switch it up then I got four of the new body sprays splashes mists and these last way longer so basically Victoria's Secret redid their whole fragrance mist so these are like the love spell and pure seduction which I cannot stand like they make me so nauseous because all of high school was those scents so they actually released new scents and then they re-released them all so basically these are more like perfumes they're not really fragrance mists anymore because they last longer so I got the scents rush I really can't describe the sense of this. It's like sweet, but also kind of like manly in, in a way. This one's called Rush. I think this one is my favorite. And then I got this one because of the bottle. And this one's Rich Jasmine. Then I got the sense Such a Flirt. It's in the mix, no sense spraying them and telling you that they smell really and pretty because that's what I'm going to say. And then I got Exotic. So I got all of these. It was buy two, get two free. So one is $18. So yeah got two free and they make great like stocking stuffers if you want to add something to a present you could just stock up on these and add them and I love the lasting power of these it's just great to throw in your bag even though they are pretty big just to spray on your hair on your clothes or on other people so I picked up the same scents but like in little spray bottles I love that these are the actual sprays and not roller balls because I hate roller balls they just don't do it for me so I picked up these and these were also buy two get two free so when I went to Victoria's Secret it was spend $75 and you get this huge duffel bag kind of like tote bag it's good to just have like as a weekend bag or you can bring it as a carry-on to bring more clothes so I love this and it was free and it says it was valued $99 which I don't know about that but 
that's that. The last item that I got for my birthday, I gifted myself a new pair of sunglasses and these are Celine and the moment I saw them I knew I had to have them and they were the last pair in the store. I got these at Solstice. So these just say Celine. I'll put the this info down below because it's just a whole bunch of numbers but they're just like aviators and they're gold and they're like super reflective. They're gold and they're like mirrored. You guys can see but I think I'll just post a picture on Instagram with them. I think these look super hot when you're not made up and when you do have a lot of makeup on. I just think aviators go with like my frame of face. I really like them and I feel really expensive when I wear them. So these are Celine. They were pretty pricey. I think they were like $3.95 which is expensive so I have to make sure to take care of these. And that was like my little birthday present to myself as well as my camera which was really expensive And I wanted to say thank you to you guys for all the love you guys have been showing me on snapchat and on Instagram Even though I'm not uploading as often you guys still stay strong with me and you guys are there by my side So thank you again for supporting me and I will have my 200k giveaway up very soon I have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be sending so just bear with me and yeah as soon as I get back from my vacation I will be Uploading regularly now that I have my camera. I actually just got some soft boxes in things are gonna change I also want to kind of change up my background So I'm gonna be working on that as well. So thank you so much for watching and again excuse the ratchet appearance But you know we're amigos, right? We're compadres and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I Actually opened this up Ooh. I actually got to meet with Open Glory, so I got a whole bunch of goodies. You don't know how. Sent to me for soap for what? That movie. Oh my god. Now I need to know. Finish. A. You good?